All right, got two things, two things to point out here. Uh, one, because we're in chord strumming again here, back to counting along as you play. Got to count along as you play here. Uh, the other thing, now that I say that, no need to count along with these because it's going to be straight 16th notes. What I was hearing is when you played at 100 beats a minute, you were swinging things. So it wasn't a consistent... There was some variation in how it was being strummed. Um, let's see, try and recreate it. Um, let's see, if it was strict, it would be... And yours is more like, no. Versus. It may not have been that much of a swing, but that's basically what I was hearing there. So it's like you were putting more space in between the down and up stroke. So instead of having a constant and even down, up, down, up, you put a space in between every down and up beat, or, or down and up stroke, I mean. So we're gonna focus on fixing that. So you got three things, no repeats, because it's gonna be going up real slow. One beat per minute slow unless unless uh time wise because if this is taking you th more than 20 minutes to get through all three of these then go up by increments of two and see if that's any better the reason why i want you to go up really slow is because you sounded fine at the 60 beats a minute but at this fast one the swing thing crept in so i want to very very slowly increase the speed so you can focus on the accuracy if you're going to emphasize any part of the strumming only emphasize the downbeat not every downstroke only the downbeat so basically every other downstroke you can hit a little bit harder to help you stay on the beat so that may have been what was happening there maybe a subconscious effort to hit every downstroke a little harder than the upstrokes, maybe. So that's why I want you to try this week, all three of these. So I'll demonstrate at the 60 and 100, but I want you to go up, either ones or twos, I prefer it if you went up by one beat per minute increments, but if it's taking too long, then go up by two beat per minute increments, but no, no faster than that. Each day you practice there. Really want to get the, the, the solid, solid, solid strumming there. And that's gonna carry over into the single note pick and stuff too. So, here we go at 60. And again, because it's a straight 16th notes, you don't need to count these. However, when we get into the more rhythmic stuff where we have the variations in the strumming, yes, get back to counting along as you play. All right, one, two, three, four. you were playing. 
Number three. Six. One, two, three, four. Too fast. One, two, three, four. One hundred. One, two, three, four. Right. So that's it for the playing stuff. And surprise, surprise for the theory stuff. It's going to have you do what you did last time with triads. Just going to fill in the suspended second arpeggios for the key of G and the key of F. And then same thing with the suspended fours, all in the key of G, all in the key of F. It'll be following the same kind of pattern of basically the sus2 will happen in the 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6th position. Third position always has a sus flat 2. Seventh position always has a sus flat two flat five, and then for the sus fours, again you'll follow the same same order of chords. So the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth position will all be suspended fours. The fourth position is the sus sharp four, and the seventh one, seventh position has the sus four flat five. So if you have any questions, please let me know, and I plan on seeing you again in your videos.